Hello everyone, we're back with yet another Like Minded, proudly sponsored by E&D Waterworks. If water goes to it or through it, we do it. Um, because it's fluid. You know they really need a jingle. You know, by show's end they'll have one, I promise. And in the meantime, you know, if you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, you know, since you're already on localvisiontv.com, go check out the Hee Hawk Hunks video and, and then you'll know. I don't have to tell you everything, you know, you're adults. I hope so. If you're not, you're in trouble. But here's what's happening. It's not news that the economy in Rock County has been a little shaky the last few years, except for one specific category, and that's health care. The new Edgerton Hospital opens next month, and the new St. Mary's Hospital on Racine Street opens in January, and Mercy Health System is building a new clinic and emergency department over on Deerfield Drive. That's going to be open by the end of the year. Kids, it's the dance sensation that's sweeping the nation. It's health care. And because of all the activity that's been happening in that field, other businesses have been inspired to follow their lead. In fact, Utsig Carstar Auto Body is adding a plastic surgery unit and adopting the motto, a better body for you and your car. Janesville Brick and Tile is now doing hot brick massages, and the PC surgeon is also going into business as a real surgeon. Hey, like a surgeon. Up in Madison, Governor Scott Walker has taken some criticism for his plan to have an exclusive, expensive fundraiser to collect money for renovating the governor's mansion. But now he's had a change of heart. He's decided to sell the governor's mansion to help balance the state budget and instead stay at the Motel 6 when he's up in Madison. Said Walker, I love the fact that when I get there after a hard day at the Capitol, the towels are clean and there's that little paper band around the toilet seat. I just love that. Go ahead and park yourself at Motel 6 Janesville. We'll leave the light on for you. In my hometown of Milton, they're doing the building shuffle. The school district wants to move out of the Shaw Municipal Building and buy the CESA 2 building. The city of Milton wants the school district to buy the Shaw Municipal Building. The city of Milton wants to buy the Burdick Building and consolidate all their services there. It just makes one's head spin. It's so confusing. So Milton has decided to make it all easy. Instead, Milton will be moving its entire community into one building, the legendary Mile High building envisioned and designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. The historic Milton House will make up the ground floor of the building, and the high school will be at the top, of course. I'm going straight up to the top. I'm going where the air is fresh. It, it took me 14 episodes, but I finally got Tom Waits in here. Because you know, Tom waits for no one, and neither should you when you have water issues. That's why E&D Waterworks has 24-hour emergency service. <laughs> like how I worked that in? Hey, if you're Catholic, you know that big changes are coming to the celebration of Mass this fall. And a recent news story in the Janesville Gazette reported that the traditional Latin Mass is also making a comeback. However, since it's been so long since it's been regularly performed, some churches are confusing it for a Latin American mass. Boy, that would really change confession, too. Lucy, you got some splaining to do. Here's this week's Sound Off Comment of the Week, an actual anonymous call printed on the op-ed page of the Janesville Gazette. On school fundraiser, I support any high school and elementary fundraising program in Janesville, but it is very disrespectful to have students wear bikinis on Milton Avenue for a car wash. That's all for Like Minded this week, proudly sponsored by E&D Waterworks. E&D, they're dynamite. E-N-D, get your water right. And on that note, see you next time. Yeehaw! So kids, it's the dance craze that it's the wrong wording. And since it's a really long thing that I did, I've got to start from the beginning. And that kind of sucks. The city of Milton wants, to, wants me to start over because I got that wrong. We're sponsored, so it has to be right. True. So the second take will be right. Correct. There's no room for thirds. Hey! I can't believe I wrote this script while I was watching the Packers. I usually can't do anything besides watching the Packers. No conundrums. Is that an instrument? And on conundrums, Keith Moon. I'm going straight up to the top. Whoa. Cut!